Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today we're gonna check out st 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 Studio Link. This is something for Affinity Publisher, but it also empowers Affinity Photo. So it has a lot to do with that and you should absolutely know about that. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I wanna thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Also, by the way, I'm going to upload an exclusive video for my Facebook group and Patreon supporters where I'm showing you how to create a cute, Christmas card that you can share with your family and friends. It's beginner friendly so you can create your own card. So Studio Link is something that basically brings everything that Serif has to offer. So Affinity Publisher, Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo together in one software interconnected so you can use all of the tools. And they have a website here where they announce that and then they have a video. So let's check out that video real quick. I turned off the sound, copyright reasons and stuff, but I'm gonna comment over it. So let's see. This is publisher, of course. You, you see, you do these layouts and designs for magazines, but you can also do other things like stationary design, product design, all kinds of interesting things inside of Affinity Publisher that has to do with things that you can print, basically. I think you can also do websites, not really websites, but website designs. Then we are switching over to Affinity Photo, and that is still in Affinity Publisher and Designer, too. You see, they switched over into isometric uh, projection so it looks a little bit 3d here we're changing some colors for the text and for the outfits next look at that pretty nifty very nice and then look at what is going on here i don't know how to do that if you know how to rotate these different graphics at the same time around their individual axis i was flabbergasted i don't know how that works let me know if you know what's going on here but then Let's go on in the video so you can see there's a lot of different things you can do. And mainly the benefit of this is that you don't have to switch between three different software tools, forwards, backwards, saving, importing, exporting, all that kind of stuff that burns your brain. It's simply all in one tool connected. Now, what that means is you also have to own all three tools, which it says here to fully experience Studio Link, you also need to own our other apps in order to unlock their tool set in Publisher. Check them out below. So you need to buy these two tools and Publisher. And then inside of Publisher, let's switch over to Publisher, you can use everything, right? So here I have opened a demo project. You can do that too if you have Publisher. Simply go here to the welcome screen. Here it says samples and there you can download these. I have downloaded the Lifestyle Magazine. All right. So you can see on the left side here, I have my pages browser for Publisher where you have the individual pages. The interesting thing is here on the right side, you can see you have all these layers as you would have in Affinity Photo, for example. But if I switch to a different page, you can see that these layers change. So basically, each of these pages here, or page sets, better said, is like an Affinity Photo document, basically, right? Now, where is the necessity now to be able to switch over to Affinity Photo or Affinity Designer? So let's, for example, take this one page here. I'm looking for it. There it is that I had at the start. So here we have some photos, as you can see. So to give you a little explanation, Publisher is a layout program where you bring together all the resources you have already prepared so you can lay out them in a nice style so everything looks cool. But then if you want to change something, like you want to edit a picture, you want to add a filter to that, you want to do something with vector art like uh, changing your illustration, stuff like that, usually what you need to do is you save that or export that and then open it up in Affinity Photo or Affinity Designer. You do the editing, you save it again, you go back to the other software. It's like a whole process that is really painful to go through. Now what they did here, and this is the genius part here is you can see up here these three icons that are of course the logos for Affinity Publisher, Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo. And Right now they are called personas, which means that you can switch between them, like for example, in Affinity Photo with the different, for example, Liquify persona and the Develop persona, stuff like that. So when I have here this picture, for example, let's select this and then I click here on the photo persona, you can see that now suddenly I'm in Affinity Photo. And you would maybe think, how do you know that this is Affinity Photo? What's different? It looks the same. Well, 
check this out. I'm switching back to Publisher. Look at the tools over here. These are layout tools here on the left side where I have my tools. Look at the menus up here, what I have. I have table, layer, select, view, text, document, these kind of menus here that I need to create a nice layout, but they don't give me any kind of tools when I want to, for example, apply a little bit of blur, for example, or another effect to my photo, maybe add some grain, some noise, stuff like that. So when I switch over to the photo persona, look at that. Now suddenly I have all the menus that I know from my affinity photo. You can see here all the filters are here, so I can use all of that. So that's pretty useful. And then of course, also my tools are over here. So that is also very nice. And of course, on the right side here, you have your layers and you also have your layer effects. You have your adjustment layers. This is also something you don't find in Publisher because Publisher is not built to edit or adjust images. It's built to create a layout, right? So that can be super useful. Like I said, for example, imagine yourself, if you're not doing magazines or stuff, imagine yourself, you're creating, for example, a social media campaign or you're creating a landing page or you're creating a website design you can do the design here visually, not with the code, does not have anything to do. You cannot export this to WordPress as far as I know. This is just like to prepare it visually first, show it to the customer and say, is that what you like? And he says, yes, no, or she or it or whatever the term is. So uh, you can do that here. So you have a lot of tools here, right? You have your photo tools, you have to your designer tools. Again, everything is switching on the left side. Now you see all your designer tools. The menus are there for everything you need and everything else is there because this is designer. It's not just like a, a light version of that, a spec down version. It's the full version of designer with all the tools you need. So you can very quickly jump between all these tools. And let's, for example, do something here. Let's go here, for example, open this up. You can see picture frame, and then we have the image here. And then let's apply, for example, an HSL adjustment here, because I think, well, this is orange. This is orange. It's a little bit too much orange. Let me give this a little bit more of a black and white look. So I, oops, this is the wrong picture. Actually, I can actually, well, we can also go with this picture. Never mind. For an example, it's good. But of course, I can also just like push this down here. And now this picture here is in black and white. And you can, of course, add other adjustment layers, add other filters, do other stuff with that as you can in Affinity Photo. So everything works here as usual, but you have the other tools too. So that's extremely powerful. If you want to have that, really, really cool. The only downside that I see personally is that this is only available in Publisher. I would wish that this was available also in Affinity Photo and in Affinity Designer. That's it for today. Please leave a like if you enjoyed that video and see you in my next tutorials. Bye.